This fantastic photo is being showcased in the annual National Art Education Association member exhibition. It was taken by this photography and yearbook teacher at Hilton and Island High School. She took the photo at Botany Bay in Edisto at sunrise. I shot a series of about 850 negatives or so, and it was over three times that I went in the mornings and I would leave around like four o'clock and get back somewhere around noon or one. And it was, it was really cool. The lighting was different every time I went. The virtual exhibit features artwork created by art educators from around the world. 425 pieces were submitted and only 80 were selected to be shown. Sholkoff is proud to have her photo chosen. It means a whole lot because National Art Education Association, they pride themselves on being the utmost organization for promoting art education. Like the stuff we do, beginning of photo one. Uh -huh. So it literally speaks to everything I preach on a daily basis. Real world experiences and, you know, exemplifying the art education and, you know, validating the process, so to speak. For her photo, Sholkoff decided to print it on metal, not paper. I just thought the metal would give it more luminosity and depth. It's sort of, you know, not that it looks like an oil spill, but has that sort of idea, like no matter where, you really feel like you're there. Like it produces the 3D aspect, I think a lot more, especially when you have like the silhouette and the iridescent, the soft colors in the background, they almost like jump out at you. The virtual exhibit runs through January 6, 2023. You can view it online by visiting the National Art Education Association's website at www.arteducators.org. At Hilton Head Island High School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.